Greetings everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to use Windows Mail to grab all your emails from all the email services that you use instead of going to them one by one each day and logging in through the web browser. Okay, so Windows Mail is very handy to use. Like I said, it can pull in all the emails that you have from all those email services that you use. Like I have several Gmails. I have uh, emails from Outlook and different email services are used based on what I need them for. And logging into all those email services to check my email can be time consuming when I can just use the Windows Mail that's built into Windows 10. So let's go to that app right now. Now normally the app is available on your taskbar, but if it's not, all you have to do is just type it in at the bottom and it's going to show up on the list. So we go into Windows Mail and once you get into Windows Mail, of course you know it's going to be a blank slate. So what you want to do is click on account. Once you click on account, it's going to pop up manage account on the right side. You want to click that plus sign. The plus sign is going to give you a list of email services that you can connect to right now. So you have outlook.com which include Outlook.com, Live.com, Hotmail, and MSN. You got Office 365, which also includes Exchange. You got Google, which is Gmail. You got Yahoo Mail, and you got iCloud, which is Apple Mail. And then you have other accounts. So there are Pop and IMAP email accounts that's out there. And then you have Advanced Setup. So basically, any email service that you use out there, nine times out of 10, you can connect them to a Windows Mail app and have them pull in through this app. So you don't have to take all your time logging into all those email services to check your mail. They're gonna come into this one app on Windows Mail and they're gonna be separated by individual boxes. So you're gonna see your Gmail in one box by itself, then you're gonna see a Yahoo Mail in a box by itself and so forth. Now the process is very simple. All you have to do is click on the one that you wanna set up. So if you want to set up your Gmail, you click on Google and then it's going to connect you to that service. So then it's going to ask you for your login credentials. Once you put in your login credential, you're going to automatically see it just pulls up your mail here and you do that for all of them. I'm not going to put in my information in right now because I don't want to expose my email to the public. If you have Apple mail, you can do the same thing. It's going to ask you for your email address and your password. And then it's just going to go through the steps of connecting to your email service. If you work at a job that uses an exchange server, then you can also put that in there too. You just type in your email address and then it's gonna walk you through the step to set up your email to your work exchange server. Your IT guy can help you set that up if you don't know how to set it up yourself. And you do have other email services like internet email accounts that you can set up also all you have to do is just go in there and fill in the necessary information that it's asking for, and then it's going to connect to that service and then start pulling in your email so you can get them all in one location on your Windows machine using Windows Mail app. All right, so that's Windows Mail app and how you can actually use it to connect to all those email services that you usually connect to using the web browser. So if you're looking for an easy way to pull in all your email from all those individual services into one app, this is the way to go. All right, so if this information was helpful to you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.